You do you know what that is? It's called the Orbit Reader 20. It is meant for candidates with special needs. It has three modes there. It's a book reader, note taker, and also Braille. It can display different modes on, and connects to computers and mobile devices. So examination fever is on as the 1.2 million candidates embark on the three-day KCP exams with others awaiting the KCSC papers in the days that are coming. But for the visually impaired, examinations come with extra challenges and they require special modifications to enable them to be tested academically without influencing the exam scores, which is why technology like the electronic Braille, specifically the Orbit Reader 20, could make exams less stressful for the visually impaired. This is a story that was produced by Agnes Olo Kachola. <laughs> Institutions for the visually impaired in Kenya have traditionally used mechanical braille devices to aid their students in getting an education. In the 21st century, with fast changing technology, an electronic braille device dubbed Orbit Reader 20 is now available in Kenya. And its unique three in one capability ensures that one can take notes, read, and even use it as a braille display. We give the visually impaired persons to have freedom of choice depending with what kind of uh, content one is looking for. And they help, they, they, they are of big help. This is the Thika Primary School, just one of the institutions with visually impaired pupils. And just like any other learning institutions around this time, learners here are revising for their examinations. Musambi, unlike other students, is using a mechanical braille to revise. His class was unfortunately not in the pilot program. We were able to introduce this device into grade 3 just when the CBC, the, 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 the new curriculum, uh, competency-based curriculum that was uh, mandated by the government in 2018. These grade 4 pupils have fully mastered the art of using this digital braille and to them learning has become easier and more enjoyable. Less than 200 kilometers away from Thika is the St. Lucie's High School in Igoji, Meru County, where a number of students still use mechanical braille devices for learning purposes. During the piloting, we are able to get around 35 of them against the population of 125. That is giving us a ratio of 3 to 1 or 1 to 3. One of its key advantages is that this device can also be used by a teacher to pass discrete messages across to individual learners. Unfortunately, the cost of the device is still a barrier to its access, and visually impaired learners from low-income backgrounds have to rely on well-wishers to donate these devices to them. All eyes are now on the government and other stakeholders to step up their support when it comes to improving education for the visually impaired in these institutions. Serikali tungeomba uingilie kati utusaidie. Maana hata tukitoka hapa hizi gadgets hizi tunaenda nae mbele, tunaacha shule. Nikienda huko university sijui nitatumia gani ama ndarudi kwa braille machine ten. Kenya, with a population of 47 million, has a prevalence rate of visual impairment amongst children of 2.4%, meaning that at least 1.1 million potential learners will need electronic Braille support to make their dreams come true.